Hello, Anthony from Scanware, and I'm talking to you today about electrical gloves. So these are gloves designed primarily for the purpose of insulating you, the wearer, from the risk of contact with the line of the sea, and as a result, get an electric shock. So, two different types of gloves here. First of all, I'm going to concentrate on this glove here. So this is what we call a composite glove. A couple of different types of composite glove. Some composite gloves have electrical shock, so insulated properties, and they also have mechanical properties. So that mechanical property is people will be familiar with uh, standard for things like grip gloves and general gloves. So an EN388 standard, um, it tests for abrasion, tear, um, puncture and cut. Gives you ratings on all those, um, those standards. And then so this glove here has the mechanical protection, it also has the insulating protection. But this one here that I'm showing you now, is slightly different in the fact it has art fast protection built into it as well. So it's kind of like a, a three in one glove. So electric shock insulating glove, mechanical protection, so protecting you from the tears, cuts, punctures, abrasion, etc. And then the art flash. So in terms of art flash in this glove, it's uh, this glove here I'm showing you, for example, is a class zero electrical hazard glove. So that's a thousand volts AC current, it will protect you from that's the same working voltage. It's class 2 arc in the closed box or the box test arc method, so 7k um, arc fault. And then it's over 40 cal in the open arc test, so 40 calories per centimetre square. Greater than that is what this glove will protect you from. The main feature about this glove is being a single layer glove or a single item, compared to this one here, which is different, which I'll talk about in a minute. You only have, when you pinch your forefinger and your thumb together, you only have two very small thin pieces of rubber in between your thumb and forefinger making dexterity really really good. I've just got this glove on as it is now, it comes with a cotton liner so you can insert a cotton liner first or on your hand obviously to make it easier to take that glove on and off, particularly if it's warm or your hands got a bit clammy. The mechanical protection of this glove, when I talked about EM388, it gives you those ratings. The, the standard for this electrical glove in the composite style, so the standard is EM60903. The standard is written for insulating gloves, then there is an annex for composite gloves, and that is where they test the mechanical strength of the glove itself, so they're testing for abrasion, etc. And generally speaking, the standard is it's got to achieve greater than what would be an EN3882. So two for cut, puncture, tear, abrasion, etc. It's got to be greater than that. So that kind of gives you the idea of the mechanical protection that's in this glove. So remember, it's a composite glove, insulating to protect from electric shock, Mechanical, so it's not going to wear down and then start to rub thin, which is very easily, which is obviously going to protect the glove from having to wear a leather outer. Gives you good dexterity and it gives you an art fresh rating, as I say, class 2 arc in the closed glove method over 40 cal ATPV. This glove, on the other hand, is a two part glove, sometimes three part if you're wearing a cotton liner again inside the rubber glove. So I have this here, the black, this is actually a class 1 glove, so class 1 insulated glove. Um, this is my main rubber glove, it's going to protect me from the electric shock or the, the risk of electric shock because it's insulating me. And then where the leather glove on the outside of it, the leather glove itself is then providing that mechanical protection I spoke about. So equivalent to the EM388 standard on general gloves, this is what this leather glove is giving me. It's protecting the insulating glove from being worn, punctured or cut because as soon as the rubber glove is worn, punctured or cut, it removes all of the protection, of insulating protection in the glove itself. The leather itself is also a very, very good art fast protector, but because this glove isn't art fast rated, I don't know what art fast protection it would give me, but I do know it would give me a good amount of art fast protection. So, there are your two gloves, composite with the built in art fast protection and probably more dexterity. The leather glove on top of the insulated glove, which gives you um, some art fast rating in its own right. Some people will prefer this, but what we'd like to know is give us your feedback and tell us which one you prefer composite gloves or the standard. Leather glove over intensity glove. Look forward to hearing your comments. Have a good day and stay safe.